everybody, Captain Jack from the Minecrafters with a video tutorial about power armor. Now this armor is part of the modular power suit armor and it provides a unique, a bunch of unique armor pieces that have a lot of versatility and they are highly customizable. We have chosen to use the power armor on our server just because we feel it's superior to quantum armor um, in just about every way except for one and that's durability. The quantum armor can take a huge beating. Um, this unfortunately is not as durable. You'll still die if you're getting attacked by a horde of pigmen, unfortunately. Uh, but it provides several really cool um, enhancements, buffs, and combines some tools in some cases uh, to make a pretty cool set of armor. And I'm going to show you how to make it and how to get started with that today. The first thing you're going to need is this power armor tinker table and it's easy to make. All you need is a machine block, electronic circuit, and one of those special emeralds. And once you combine those, you can put down this power armor tinker table and you're almost ready to get started. The next thing you'll need to do is you're going to need to craft the individual pieces of armor and there's five of them including the weapon. And there's the power armor head, torso, legs, feet, and the power tool. And once you make those, they're actually not going to be useful at all until you start modding them. And to start modding them, simply have them in any place in your inventory, including your inventory equipped slots, um, and go into this GUI here. And if you pull it up, everything that you have on your person is going to come up in this table here. Now if I click on this, or any of them, they're all going to have various options. This one is the weapon, um, so it has tools attached there's special powers and all of them have an energy bar. You'll see energy here and then these are all in the same spot. The where one of the unique things about this armor is that it carries weight and depending on how much you mod each piece of this armor it's gonna the weight is gonna depend on it or you're gonna add more weight to it and the main component that adds weight to this armor is the battery and that's this right here. Now you can have a basic battery, an advanced battery, or an elite battery. Um, I have the elite battery installed. And also the weight will depend on the type of armor that you have. Now iron plating and diamond plating will have a weight value attached to them, but the energy shield does not. As you can see it says they're much lighter. Um, actually it doesn't say they're lighter at all. They just don't consume. They don't have a, a weight value. Now each one of these pieces we have set, the battery is set to 5 kilograms and between the five pieces we have a total of 25 kilograms and when this armor gets over 25 kilograms or if you have more than 25 kilograms between all the pieces you're going to start moving slower which is not something that we want. We want fast armor, agile armor, versatile armor. Uh, we don't want to get slowed down at all and so when you notice that we have all our elite batteries set for 5 kilograms um, that's so we don't slow ourselves down. And at 5 kilograms, we're going to get 2.34 million uh, joules. You can use EU to power these, um, and I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but that's a ton, and you don't really need anything more than that. There's, We really haven't found the need to. Um, so each one of these pieces, you'll notice, has the same amount of battery. It's 5 kilograms, each equals 2.34 million joules. So inside each one of these pieces, they have several unique things, and you can see them change as I move through them. I'm not going to go through every single one of the benefits that this armor gives. I will show a few of them off, but if you mouse over what they do, they're very self-explanatory. Uh, all you need to do or know is how to use them. When you're modding this armor, you're going to need several pieces. Um, one of the most basic pieces you're going to need to start off with this mod is solenoids and wiring. And they're very easy to make. This is just uh, a little bit of gold cable and some redstone. And the solenoid is a machine block with three different wirings there. And that's the main thing you're going to need to make the components to add into this armor, which really is not difficult at all. Now to start out, if you want to add an energy shield or either, any one of these, it's going to tell you exactly what you need to make it down here. And if you want to install iron plating, you're going to need basic plating. And once you have this basic plating in your inventory, the tinker table will know that you have it, 
and all you have to do is click install and it'll pop it right on. Same thing with this, it just needs something different, advanced plating, and the energy shield needs two force field emitters. And once you have these in your inventory, again, you can just slap those right on, install them, and you're good to go and you're ready to tinker with it. There's other things that you can install. Um, this is a glider wing, a parachute, and you can just look this all up in too many items. It's, it's fairly easy stuff to make. It's just a little bit of a pain to make all of it at first, um, but once you have it, uh, that's it. You're done. You don't have to do it anymore. One of the coolest parts or coolest features of this armor are these two things here, custom color module and transparent armor. And what these do is allow you to change the color of your armor. And you can see over here we have green, red, and blue. And I have my green and blue uh, maximized to make cyan, which is kind of the traditional Minecrafter color. But you can change these to whatever you want by simply dragging. And you'll notice when you drag that the color will change over here to show you exactly what it's going to look like as you're wearing it. So you can pick any color you want. If you want pink, do that. Red, do that. Um, if you want to drag them all up and do black, you can do that. Um, so I have mine set to cyan. Again, you can do whatever you want. Uh, transparent armor. This is a very cool feature because it allows you to hide your armor and show off your skin or your custom skin that you're using. And you still get all the uh, perks and benefits of the armor. It just doesn't look like you're wearing any, uh, which is good if you want to fool somebody or just show off your skin. So how do you activate this? Because I have uh, both of these installed right now. I have custom color module and I have transparent armor installed. And clearly, you can't see my armor because I'm wearing it. So how do I get this stuff to work? What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press the K key on your keyboard. It's going to bring up this menu and you're going to want to press new. And what you do here is assign a key to this. It's a hot key or a shortcut key that will hide or show your armor on command. So I'm going to pick a key here. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to pick the home button. And once I do that, it brings up this menu. And then you're going to take this little shield right here, which is the transparent armor module. Click and drag it right over here. And you can see that it attaches with a little line. And I'm going to just drag it, drop it, press escape, and I'm, sh and I'm done. Now if you view your character from the outside, and then you press that hotkey that you assigned it, bam, your armor shows. And you can see that I have the cyan, and I have my other pieces colored a little bit gray. And you can turn that on and off on command. It's pretty cool stuff. I'm going to keep it off here so people know I'm the captain. Um, once you install the larger batteries on these, um, I think the default is they start with 750 thousand um, joules or I'm not sure what they ex call the energy in this mod but it uses EU to charge up um, the default is 750 uh, but once you make this armor once you increase the battery size you're gonna wanna charge it up and I have a high voltage charging bench right here and you can see that these boots the captain's boots aren't quite charged up all the way they're at 1.31 million and I can fit 234 million and if I simply drag this in here, you'll notice that that's increasing, it's gaining charge. And once they're charged up, just put them back on and I am ready to go. So that's how you charge this armor. Now let me show you how to use the armor. Again, it's fairly simple. The mod is fairly straightforward. If I go down out into here, I can go right out here actually. A little bit of the violet hold is not quite loaded. If I go down here, let me show you that uh, thing I told you about earlier that enables you to climb up one meter high blocks without any effort. So if I just hold the forward key, you can see that I just bounce right up these things, no jumping needed. Um, it's cool if you have a mountainous terrain that you're going to need to navigate all the time or very frequently. You don't need to jump all over the place or if you have a jet pack, um, you bounce up and all over the place. Uh, it's fairly useful in that regards. Um, but the more useful features of this armor is, are its ability to fly. And the jetpack, or the boots, just like this, if you have them charged up, they'll allow you to go up and down fairly quickly. And while you're up in the air, if you press the shift key, it's going to deploy that parachute add-on for your chest piece. 
and allow you to slow or fall fairly slowly. Now when you're falling you can also choose to fly or propel yourself forward by just pressing the forward key and that's going to allow you to fly around or glide around just like this. It's almost like Swift Wolf's Rending Gale. Got a lot of stuff not loaded here. Um, so it's a really good way to get around without using the jetpack. Oh, there goes Ingram. I don't know if he knows I'm making a video. Um, the other cool thing, or the, probably the most useful feature on this, is uh, the extreme speed with which you can fly. And I'll demonstrate that for you here. Oh, there's Zelda. And if you double tap forward, you're just gonna you're gonna fly around at an extremely fast pace. You have to hold the space bar when you do this. Um, it's very quick. I think it moves at 100 meters per second. Um, so that's why we choose to use this armor. Another thing, uh, I can just show you this real quick. It's not very useful. You can hold right click, charge up this blast here, and it'll fire something. Um, it did kill that creeper, which I'm actually fairly surprised about. Or you can single click and shoot out these little beams, which take forever to kill stuff. Um, it's not very it's not very useful as a weapon, but it is fairly useful at quick mining, which you can see there. It's not very powerful either. There we go, killed that thing finally. Uh, but that's the power armor. It's not actually called, I renamed all my stuff, and I'll show that in another video about enchanting. Um, I renamed all my armor just so everybody knows it's mine. Um, this is power armor. It allows you to fly really quickly. Um, you can see this massive beast which we're constructing right now. This is part of the sky labs that we're making and things, stupid things not even loading. It's so big. Oh, there's a skeleton up there. Um, if it wasn't raining, I'd be able to see a little bit more. Um, but here it is. The sky labs got a beacon in the middle there. That other beacon we got and this is power armor. Uh, hopefully it's fairly useful to you. Hopefully uh, I made it a little bit easier to understand, but if, if you have any more questions on it, please comment in the video. Uh, and ask and we'll try to answer the questions to the best of our ability. Uh, follow us on our website or check it out at theminecrafters.com. Um, we got some articles on there about what's going on with the server. Um, some people had questions about uh, who runs the servers, who keeps them going, uh, who plays in the servers. Check it out at the website subscribe to our videos uh, so that we can keep making more and as always stay poised